Hello, my lovely Starborns. Welcome to your pick a card reading. Today we are getting messages from the person on your mind. And I'm going to use some objects. All right. So let's help you choose your group using these. All right. Group one, your object is this. It's a pine cone. Group two, your object is the flower. And group three, your object is what I like to think is blue lotus. <laughs> it's like closed lotus. It is yet to bloom, yet to unfurl. But yeah, it's purplish, bluish. So think of it as blue lotus. Okay, so you have your objects here. See which one is pulling you in. Choose your group and I'll see you at your reading. Hello, group one. You chose the pine cone. So let's get messages from the person on your mind. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get some archetypes first. I'm going to pull four archetypes, messages from the person on your mind. All right. All of a sudden, my nose started itching. <laughs> okay, yeah. The heart. Mm. The nectar. Mm. Kairos. Who big energy, say it. Very big energies. This person thinks highly of you. Oh, yeah, look. I think you're out of reach. Yeah. This is someone. You're out of reach. You feel like you're, you're gone. You. There's loss here. I'm picking up on loss. Okay. This person feels like they've lost you. There's a break here. Many of you, it's a break. It's a clean break. But for others, not so clean. And also, some of you, you're you're still somewhat on talking terms. But there has been destruction. There has been an ending in this connection. And this person has love for you. There is love here. But there are very big energies at play. Okay? It's things which are kind of like out of your control. Especially in this area when it comes to... Uh, the psychic connection and the actions that they take, they are not in control. They are not in charge. The universe is in charge, okay? They have to tell you something. They have a lot to say to you. They have a lot to reveal to you. And it's almost like I'm getting really heavy energy that it's becoming difficult for this person to hold back. It's getting really difficult to not say the things that they want to say to you there is definite divine timing at play and uh, they have been doing their best to respect that and all of that but it's like there's something um, which is not right you know that's that's how they feel they feel like time is running out they feel like they have to rush in they have to make things happen here because they, they are missing your light they are missing the soma they are missing the somewhat of like there's this disconnect you know when they are not in touch with you they feel like they're cut off from source which is intense it's very intense they think you're very powerful they look up to you there's respect here but it's kind of lock lock i was about to say lock kind of Oh, so your light is locked. But 
there's obs obsession here there's obsession here but it's like spirit is hiding you a little bit he, spirit wants you to remain out of touch you see how the hand is reaching out of the darkness towards the light i'm hearing black pearl of wisdom this person could have been really selfish at some point that is why you have this protection around you yeah let's get more cards hmm but this person is undergoing transformation especially a lot is shifting and changing in their psyche when it comes to this connection uh, they are receiving revelations almost every day yeah and if you feel or if you think that they have moved on no they they try to they try to this is not moving on they're still sitting in that boat even if they have moved on because uh, again i'm seeing the twin stars here it's like regardless of the distance regardless of where you are where they are at it doesn't matter so yeah this feels like a very fated kind of connection show me okay a lot of feelings here the moon yeah ace of cups what am i telling you and four of wands that's why i got that double star energy you see this person their own feelings their own the depth of their own feelings it was hidden from them for a long time okay they undermined this connection they took it for granted at times they thought that you'll always be around maybe you have been around even when you were not supposed to but right now they're figuring out that they got to level up they got to come correct that is the energy here you both are very different opposites like there's something very different about you cultural difference is highlighted here it's like words apart but you are their word i'm also hearing that they are afraid they are afraid of their own feelings they are afraid of what they feel for you and with the pine cone there it's like and the eyes two eyes two eyes <laughs> okay uh, this can only go forward if they wake up spiritually wake up i'm hearing wake up neo wake up neo yeah neo is also new right new word then only you can create this new word yeah that's what they're realizing that there's that vibrational mismatch you know and earlier they kind of like they had an idea but they never deep dived yeah and right now they're figuring out it's not going to fly let's see Oh, they want to fight for this connection they want to fight off competition if there is any they watch you for sure there is like an eye following you i'm getting that hand from adam's family it's kind of like that you know it follows your energy around yeah They're willing to work for it tell me more yeah they want to offer what am i telling you page of swords see they want to talk to you they are watching and uh, there's a bit of um, weird energy here a mm, bit toxic i would say where they are still a bit immature you know they think they have a claim on you like they can they have to claim you so it's personally it's an icky energy but i understand why people get that way you know because the ego is being demolished <laughs> and uh, you try to hold on to whatever you can 
So that's what they are doing. But the ego is being demolished left, right and center. Because that is the only way to spiral on. Oh my God. Look at that. They look up to you. They really look up to you. Some of them, they, they want to like rush in, take you away and just go on an adventure. But it's almost like sometimes they feel that so much has changed that they are in for a rude awakening if they approach you recklessly. So they think and they, they know that they have to come correct. They have to come in with a very solid offer. They have to stand on business and I'm seeing blue eye here and uh, he also has blue eyes the snake here and the tree which is again it's giving me enlightenment you know that they look at you as someone who who knows what's up they think that you're otherworldly they can pick up on your star seed essence perhaps yeah they can they know that there's something different about your aura. Like your energy is different. You're very different. That's very enticing. You know, that's why they... they... You have a lot to offer. Especially energetically. And that is something which can be dismissed, you know, when someone is stuck in the 3D and deep deep healing is here i think you've healed quite a lot and even that is charming yeah that's charming like this person is enticed by you There's, there is a level of obsession there's also like they're, they're watching they're watching really closely they want to offer you a solid connection but they're also looking at what you have to offer if it makes sense you know mm. so yeah that selfishness is sort of here but it kind of makes sense I mean but honestly right now it's not making much sense so I don't know how to interpret this message but yeah we'll keep it moving but they definitely want a fresh start we have two pages here they really want to talk some of them perhaps they are already circling around your energy and they are perhaps uh, they're checking the waters that's what i'm hearing they're checking the waters because some of them they're afraid that you'll turn them down because again you have better things to do Okay, action. Oh, I'm not taking so many, but look. Okay, Spirit is like, just look at all the cards. So I'm not taking these, okay, because these are, we didn't see those, and that's upright. So we'll take these. Uh, Six of Cups, Three of Wands, High Priestess, Justice. Nine of coins. They're intimidated by you. Look at that. The lovers and ace of swords. Because uh, you can see right through them. They're very mindful of the connection. And they're very mindful of the fact that they have to come correct. And in truth. And in honesty. Otherwise, nothing is going to work, no matter what they have to offer, especially materially. It's like, no, it's about the deep dive here, if it makes sense. It's about the deep dive. It's about the shift in consciousness. It's about, okay, so if they come back and you pick up on the same stale energy and you do not sense that they have done the spiritual work, 
no matter what they have to offer, you just know there is misalignment. And for some weird reason, this is pulling me in and it looks like tiny eyes. Bunch of eyes. Isn't it? Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I never noticed that. Crazy. Yeah, like you will check. You'll check them. And they are coming in with the intention to make plans, to make things happen in a very practical manner. Okay, as a very matter of fact, as to, yeah, I want this. But uh, there is a, this underlying energy which I cannot shake, which is that of, again, a need to prove something, you know, because I don't know what happened here. Maybe their ego got bruised. And that led to that ego death that we talked about. But it's like they've been through multiple ego deaths. But every time they go through one, it's like initially there there's resistance, you know. So maybe they have a huge ego. Okay, let's uh, get you some tea leaf. Okay, I'm going to divide it in four piles and get one for each section. All right, for the first. Okay, just one. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. This is the energy they're coming in with. Perhaps they, again, they have a lot to offer to you. And again, I'm getting double-edged sword. So it's like, you know, be very mindful of everything and especially the energetics of it all. What your gut tells you. What happens to your body when you talk to them. Okay? Listen to the hints. Okay. They also feel like their luck is connected to you their prosperity is somewhat tied to you which is like again you have to be very careful with this sort of energy when people have such ideas you know that would explain the obsession okay yeah Again, they'll try to rush you. I get this energy. They intend to sort of like come in with a lot of noise. You know, yeah, apocalypse is, it's revolution, but it's chaotic. They want to come in with the chaos. Because, see, you have transformed, okay? You keep spiraling up. You, you, you realize when you are in that cycle of shedding an egoic layer, you know, you realize. But this person has resistance. What did I tell you? So... All of this heavy work is also so that you show them the way. This is very subconscious on their part because it gets really too much for this person because, uh, again, they have control issues. They they feel like th there's this sense of entitlement that is not making their life easy. I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, you come in with all of this, with the, with the watermelons. The harvest, because they want this from you, the ultimate nectar, Soma. Which I believe you are a guide in a way, and I think you, you can actually show them how to do things in a much easier way. This person, a person is a bit of like a fighter, but sometimes unnecessary fights it's like they, they get in this spirit of uh, fighting and uh, almost like clubbing things even when it, there is no point I mean it's not even required so maybe they have a lot of like fire power they could be mongolic yeah it's that energy and there's something about you your energy is again it's different but at the same time It's like they can see themselves in you. Your fire is controlled. It's like 
you are not scattering it everywhere and they want to learn that from you you know your power is silent it's it, it commands uh, this awe in this person okay and again that's somewhat annoying too to this person because yeah they keep looking up to you basically so okay obstacles to overcome yeah you definitely show up as a challenge you know you show up as this person who need to be claimed what did i tell you like yeah they need to climb this hill to get on top of you yeah <laughs> no pun intended but maybe yeah that's also the energy here with the mars energy because again they crave this nurturing energy that you have they they crave your giving nature as well you know your very energy is like calming very peaceful luxurious too hmm you know how the snake is kind of like in awe of the lady right yeah this person they have a greedy selfish streak that is coming in again and again and they know that perhaps they understand that there's uh, this divine timing at play because they need to work through multiple cycles before they can like approach you and they it's annoying it's annoying because they're not in control and maybe this person has a level of control in other areas but it's like when it comes to your connection nothing and that's again it makes them somewhat reckless because look at the actions so many cards it's like they just want to barge in you know and again claim 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 you and this person i'm also getting this energy they could have tried to rush you earlier yeah and it didn't work so the universe intervened and things happened and okay let's see final love look at that underneath a month is coming in august they could have tried to like contact you in august again i'm getting that energy gust gust of wind coming in it's like they're getting omens Agrees, signs and sings, and it's just everything. Like the wind is telling them, go this way, go to this person, go to this person. Some of them, they can't help it. They cannot help it. Tell me more. Since we have a month, so I want more about this. Spirit is not telling me why. Okay, they're saying pick another pile. Okay. They have to work for it honestly that's what i'm getting they have to work for it mm -mm. well get what get back to the basics yeah they have to work for this there is no shortcut here i mean your reading is sort of clear that way so that's all i see i hope this helps see you in the next one take care hello group two you chose the flower so let's get messages from your person, the person on your mind. Messages from the person on your mind. Let's see. All right. The desert, the seed, the threshold, and the shadow. Hmm. I'm getting the word repression. They're repressing quite a lot. This person is... 
not okay. They feel abandoned. And if they abandoned you, it's because they feel they're not enough. They feel they don't have enough to offer and all of that. They have to overcome their own fears and limitations and blockages in order to plant new seeds, in order to reconnect. There is the intention to reconnect. But, you know, there's something about uh, this person where it feels like it's a mess. Everything is messed up, you know. They listen to their mind chatter. They get... It's, I'm getting the energy that they, they're a victim to their shadow, okay? It's like they're led by their egoic mind. They're led by their conditioning. They're led by what others tell them. They're led by, again, their limiting beliefs. This person has trouble following their intuition. They are not in touch with their inner compass, even if they can feel it sense it that gut knowing that feeling you know they ignore it they repress it they they you know, try to be practical they try to be whatever but like what spirit is telling them to do there is help around them but there is something with this person where they reject help too it's easier to give up because doing otherwise is, you know, it requires work. But again, with the seed being here, it's like they intend to reach out for their pearl, which I believe is you. But yeah, let's get some tarot. This is for my lovely group, too. Uh, the lovers wanted to show up. And again, that beauty and beast in the lover's card. They feel like the beast, you know. Mm. So maybe that story is significant. You don't think highly of themselves. And if you feel like, no, that's not the case. And when you were like deeply bonded yes they did think highly of themselves but it was like a facade it was a mask that they were wearing but right now this person doesn't think much of who they are or what they have to offer and all of that let's see or and there's also this energy of uh, being focused somewhere else Always taking the easy way out, but it it's never easy. There is also this energy of escapism, repression. So it can show up in many ways, but we'll see. All right, let's see. They definitely have abandonment wounds, and you triggered that too. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords and Page of Coins. And two of coins. This is this energy of uh, lies. You know, again, things are not as uh, they portrayed it to be. You know, they somewhat weaved an image of themselves, which is not true. So that's exactly what I'm picking up. It's like the way you know them. That's not who they are, you know. That's why they act this way. So it's it's in order to hide how they really feel about themselves. They feel like uh, they did you wrong. And uh, there is also this energy of victim mentality. So it's like they feel like you did them wrong. There, it's It goes both ways. But I feel like they are more in the wrong. That is why you also have the page of coins. And then that's the energy of 
still wanting to reconnect, wanting to start this connection all over again, which goes very well with the seed and the intention, you know. They have a lot to learn from you. They know that you have a lot to offer that way. Huh. This person has mental health issues. Uh, they are depressed. They are in pain. They try to rise above all of that, but it's difficult for them. Then they think of you, they feel pain. Some of them, perhaps they owe an apology to you. And they have to come correct. But right now, again, it's like their priorities are different. They have... I get very burdened energy. They're very burdened. And again, science and things and spirit is trying to help them, but it's like they're almost like oblivious. They, they, they do not pay attention to the spiritual for some reason. No matter how they come off, it's like they're disconnected. This is cut off, cut off from spirit. That's what they think or feel. I don't know what is up with this person. It's kind of like, woe is me. That sort of energy, you know? They are a victim. They feel like a victim. Even if they were the one up to nonsense. Let me see. King of Cups. See? There's love here. But again, it's like they are in pain, of course, depression and all of that is because uh, they're not heartless. It's like, okay, they're triggered though. They, they are in pain. They're in emotional turmoil. And they definitely want to make things right with you. Things are not right here at all in this group. Whoever this person is, there is love. And again, you know, uh, escapism, past escapism, their tendencies, their uh, even personality is kind of like bushed. So it's like they sabotage, okay? Uh, and it's taking me to the childhood again with the page here. So, and yeah, we do have six of cups here, right? So um, they definitely know that there's a deep connection here with you. So soul family connection, soul bond. That is why, you know, they were not yeah, able to escape this. Otherwise, you know, they're, they're used to it. They're used to running and uh, dropping things and just going on about their day. But right now, things are difficult. Especially this year, I'm getting for some of you. This year is... It's like m mind-boggling. This person is finally listening to the spirit, to the universe. They are looking into the spiritual element of this connection. Let me see. They do want to come correct, but they are, again, I get this energy, they have a lot of work to do here. Yeah, they have a lot of work to do. Maybe there's distance here and they want to cover the distance and come rushing to you. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I'm seeing water everywhere. So, yeah, you know, separated by water bodies. <laughs> also separated by differences, prejudice even. Some of you, prejudices at play. Oh, this person is perhaps prejudiced in their ways and... They have to overcome that prejudice. Pride and prejudice I'm getting. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but they definitely intend to make it right. Let's see. They feel like you're far gone. It's like you're out of reach. Yeah. 
they feel like uh, they are receiving bad karma for whatever happened between you both that's what they think they feel like their luck got hit and they messed with you <laughs> earlier perhaps they got in this energy where they started to hate you because they felt like uh, you know you are an enemy disguised as a lover what are you doing to me you're just like changing everything i have ever known you are making me think other otherwise you know you, you you're just pushing me to change and again ex you, why are you expanding my energy that is their energy and uh, perhaps you're like okay fine i'm out bye and once you did that and they were left on their own that's when everything kind of like slowly and slowly drop by drop drip by drip they just couldn't help but notice what the universe was trying to tell them they understand the fated nature again i'm getting big soul tie here which was denied for a long long time i want to get one more clarifier for the wheel of fortune but they definitely look up to you they they feel like you are just you're like this alchemist of a sort you know you can make the best of whatever is thrown your way and they somewhat envy that you know they they are envious of the fact that you are sorted that no matter where you are what it is that you're doing they feel like you're happy you're happy or actually mm okay yeah they watch you so if you are in public eye or if you have social media which is like Uh, if they are on your social media they definitely watch you yeah and they feel like there's something effortless about your energy like you cannot be bothered and they envy that because they are very bothered you know they pay too much attention to all the noise and whatever other people's opinions and stuff like that as if uh, i'm getting the energy of atlas uh, yeah the weight of the world is on their shoulder for some weird reason and they look at you and they're like oh why are you so carefree why is your spirit so liberated yeah it just rubs them the wrong way but they cannot stop watching seriously this energy is so weird let's keep it moving let's look at their final action nine of cups mm mm-hmm. Queen of Wands showed up in reverse, but hmm, they're recognizing your worth. They're recognizing the again. I'm telling you the spiritual aspects of this connection. They're recognizing your energy signature. They're recognizing what triggers them, and the things that they love about you. It's actually something that they are capable of. provide that they do the work right but again it's it's work it's work and this person is a bit i don't know but i think they're getting there they have a lot of passion for you okay and even that makes them uncomfortable because it's like what do i do with it is that sort of energy they want to offer you something but for now it feels like it's not enough yeah they want to come to you they want to talk to you they want to i'm hearing weird things make out and all of that okay wait yeah the dev <laughs> <laughs> the lovers these are like you know sister cards <laughs> and again beauty and the beast you know so this person is uh, very attracted very attracted to you
And if uh, this is not a romantic connection, then in that case, this person has a trouble understanding your notions, who you are, where you come from, your ideas, okay, the things that you stand for. And perhaps they think that you're too broad-minded or you are too out there or you're just... Um, uh, impractical. That's what they feel. They feel like uh, you are not grounded. You you are not like I don't know how to explain this. Uh, it's basically they're compensating for their own uh, lack of consciousness by projecting certain energies onto you. Okay, which is weird. But at the same time, they cannot stop watching and they cannot like stop throwing all this uh, passion and energy away it's almost like uh, they're in trance or something you know when they are in your energy and they just keep aching for it so that's why it's like um, most of the times they try to look away but it's difficult to look away so they always there's a lot of internal struggle when it comes to this person they yeah, they, they are going through quite a lot. Let's get some tea leaf. I'm going to get... I'm going to divide it into four piles and get one card from each pile. Okay. So, for the desert, the first card. Camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Hmm. Your, their feelings are a problem. The depth of their feelings, it's a very big problem for them. They think of it as an obstacle. So that's why when they come to you in this energy, they feel like, okay, if I can just like, you know, get physically attached and get my fill and, you know, everything is going to make sense then. But no, it only puts them on fire, further on fire. Everything gets far more fiery. It's so weird, this energy. Why is this person not getting it? Because, you know, they're... Ugh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. There's love here, and they're still trying to repress and ignore it, and uh, I don't know, what are they trying to prove? And to whom? Bell announcement. Oh, so there is that intention to do things differently at least. But they cannot stop being in this energy. They are very, very, very attracted. It takes over. The firepower, it takes over. That's why perhaps they feel all this desert energy because it's hot. Everything is hot. Okay, this reading is taking a turn. But yeah, with the seed here, it's like they want to start afresh. And with the word, for some reason I'm getting, this is when they are claiming their love. Yeah, still being that king of cups, but it's like, at least it's like mastery of that element, right? It's not a repression. So there's work here. And also Scorpio energy and the word, this is what it's giving me. It's giving me the shift of consciousness that they have to undergo in order to make this happen. So there's that. Provided this is a romantic connection, and again, honestly, it feels romantic to me. But if it is not, then again, I get that you're too much, okay? You're too much for this person. And they just want to water, uh, throw water on your fire. That's their energy. But it's almost like I feel like the universe will show them how to approach you correctly and your fire is so bright so powerful that all that water is going to turn into steam so yeah no one can dim your light here if it is not a romantic connection the urge is again to dim your light because i don't know it's triggering to this person show me and if this is romantic then they want to claim it they want to possess it there's that too.
Okay, this one. Yeah, hard work ahead. They have to work for it. They have to do the work. That is very clear to them. This also wanted to show it's a great passion, telling you. They just know that they have to work for it. Work it, work it, work it. <laughs> work it. <laughs> they really have to work for it in every sense. Okay. Yeah, if, if they want to be in your energy, otherwise, you know. And they also have to rise above that victim consciousness for sure. There's a mismatch in energy, a total shift when it comes to the vibration. It's like polar opposite. Yeah, lovers. This is your energy, the lovers. This is their energy, the devil. The polarity is very strong here in this one. Okay, final action. archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up with the seed we do have the paths opening up already i want to get you one advice from a goddess or seth yeah i think you need one. <laughs> an advice for group two when it comes to this connection the goddess or seth an advice for group two what do they need to know what will help them let's see Key of life, spinning the ankh, the key of life. Let's see, what is the message here? Okay. Let's keep the ankh here on him. And let me get you your message. Where is it? Here. The key of life is the mysterious ankh. The looped cross held in the hand of Isis. This mystery is opening to you now. The Ankh portends new life being born through you now. It could be in a creative sense or in a physical sense in terms of health or even a child that wishes to be born or a new project that needs to be created in service to humanity. Now, this new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Let it happen. So this is coming in as a blessing and a confirmation that new life is seeking to express itself through you. And I got that death energy here, so we can think of it as a metaphor. But I feel like this person really has to level up, you know, to say yes to life. This is the key of life. Yes. Say yes to life. Because all that heaviness, all that uh, 3D consciousness, all that victim mindset, this is what they have to drop. Yeah. They have to drop this baggage. And you got the camel for the desert. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Something has started to be born through you at this time. See it through, beloved. Don't let it struggle to survive from lack of attention or care, okay? Hmm. Maybe they, they need you to show them the way. And if uh, communication comes in, make sure you control all that firepower, you know? Because you do have control in this connection. There's something about your energy. You don't want this person to feel small. So you hold back. But again, you have the key. So if you want this connection to progress, and with all that passion, I feel like, of course, and if you're watching this reading for this person, then obviously you also have a lot of passion for this person. There's desire here. But they have to do the work in order to move in a manner that you both maintain your i am presence which is very important especially for you and the nature of uh, your soul and what it is that you're here to do 
so uh, all that energy where they want to claim you and all of that it's not gonna fly okay yeah so this needs to be transmuted into this yeah tame the beast he's haunt your king of cups is also haunt so dragon serpent imagery maybe and also like he looks sort of bullish fixed energy so yeah okay so that's all i'm saying i hope this helps see you in the next one take care hello group three you chose the blue lotus okay <laughs> if, whenever i see something wrong i just want to play with it juggle it juggle it juggle it okay <laughs> okay all right so let's see messages from your person so i get light hearted energy in this group maybe your inner child comes alive in their presence and you you have perhaps same interests hmm let's see messages from group three's person group three we're looking at the feelings intention thoughts and actions towards you i'm seeing 936 on the clock 936 mm. god frequency very connected to source energy uh, like I feel like okay wait let's not this card came out in group two three persons intention person actions all right I feel like they have already crossed the threshold. Okay. Wow. The lover. It was so dramatic how it turned. That's number 17. Hmm. Okay. The bardo. Hmm. The mirror. Oh, you showed them the mirror, didn't you? <laughs> The offering, you and let it go. Mm. Well, it's very strong energy, yeah. The crone underneath. Wow. They feel like um, you're the one. And perhaps the one who got away. You're the one who got away. The ultimate, ultimate wish fulfillment. And they made for life, don't they? Swans. This energy is very significant lately because uh, I've been seeing uh, swans uh, every time I close my eyes for some reason. It's so weird. Okay. <clears throat> I'm a bit spacey in this group, so... <sighs> Being asked to keep the on here. All right, let's get tarot for you. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, let's get tarot for you. All right, this is for group three. Is it true? Three of coins. We're ready, we're ready. Okay. This is their energy. Strength. King of Cups. Same position in group two. Maybe this is progressed energy. Yeah, it feels like it. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Same position. Queen of Wands. Crazy. Yeah of wants okay i feel like your person is fully aware of this connection the nature of this connection the cord that you share they they just know you're the one they never doubted it perhaps they knew it the very first time they saw you yeah with the iris 
it's like they just knew that it's the end all be all and it's also the end of their ways like there was a shift there was you okay you both you have been very transformative for each other this person your person has undergone multiple ego that's so have you yep you i feel like they look at you and they think that you're just strong you 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 are courageous you're so strong and they are in awe of you there's a bit of like this energy of awe very inspiring there's something very inspiring about you you know it's like they see you in a in 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 this light which is almost surprising they never thought you'll be able to overcome so much overcome your own base toxicities overcome your own perhaps addictions your own past behaviors your own way of being o overcome and override your own egoic mind okay they can see how much you have changed and that's again very inspiring very very inspiring it's like all it does is it just brings all that love to the surface for this person you know and they feel like and if they messed up big time which i believe is the case here there is that energy but it's almost like uh, right now they know that love is everything they have this deep acceptance of their own feelings and love for you okay there's no denial anymore that's what i'm getting here even if it means that they have to let you go there is this recognition of you are the one that's why i got that energy that also the one who got away but there is hope here there isn't hopelessness that's what i'm saying here there is hope here they want to offer you that cup of love they do king and knight of cups right next to each other and the same king and queen came out in group two that is why and it kept showing me right that's why i'm getting i never i i like very rarely i get this energy of progression but this feels like progressed energy because this person has been doing the work so i feel like you guys have known each other for a long time strength maybe yeah double eight energy here eight 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 yeah You were it for this person. The mirror soul I'm hearing. You're the mirror soul. They're not denying it anymore. There's no denial here. Let's see. Let's get more tarot. They want to offer you everything I'm hearing. <laughs> they want to come correct. They want to come correct. They want to do things in a right way. In a sacred way. I don't know what it means. They are understanding the nature of this connection. They are understanding how sacred it is. So they want to approach you that way. Let me see. Yeah, three of cups. They definitely want to unite. They want to... They are listening to their guides. Yeah, they are... They are establishing a connection with their higher self. So they are allowing the higher self to show them the way. To guide them. Also, I feel you guys are connected in the 5D. Yeah, yeah. There's this red thread running all over him. I did not notice this in group two, and I'm noticing it right now. So the recognition is stronger in this group. They just know you are their person. This is it. Oh, my God. And, you know, I got this uh, uh, ankh in group two, and I kept it here. And then I was going to keep it here. It's like they have the key of life, finally definitely progressed energy they're listening to their intuition they're listening to the soul guidance they're listening to their higher self because now there is that connection that they have attained with their own higher self so this person has done the work they are doing the work they are they, they have also overcome their own base toxicities because you inspired them. This is very beautiful energy, you guys. Okay, that was quick. 
The Hierophant. They want to fight for this. They do. They intend to better themselves. They intend to be right for you. They intend to do whatever it takes. Whatever changes. I'm seeing 5, 5, 5. Because this is Hierophant 5. 5 of Wands 5. And then King of Cups is also 14, which is 5. So, yeah, 5, 5, 5. And also Alchemist Energy. So, they are ready to do the work. No matter what it takes. Because I feel like you both have gone through quite a lot already you both have got you are at, the, at that place where you don't have much to lose it's like you, you you have especially you my viewer you have let go of this regardless of the inner knowing and all of that you've let let go you've released it's making all the difference yeah Maybe they also needed to get to that position and perhaps they also did that with the offering. I, I feel like that's the energy here. Release. This is all about that higher love. It's not... And when it's about higher divine love, uh, you cannot let your egoic mind tell you what's what. Show me. And you both have triggered the hell out of each other for sure, especially emotionally. But look at that. What it did was... It reigned in all that chaos, you know, Fenrir, the chaos wolf. And it it has, your person is contemplative. They are looking at their own life, first of all, and everything that they've been through with you and without you. And their own self-sabotaging ways, their own, uh, I'm hearing shortcomings, their own... Um, weird ideas and overthinking behavior and anxiousness and and how they cause pain to themselves how they create their own mental suffering and all of that in order to deny their emotions in order to not feel certain things yeah that repression energy that we picked up on in group two all of that they're able to overcome here which is so beautiful to see and with the full moon it's like they're releasing it that cycle is over wow wow and, you know, Ankh is a very transformative energy. I mean, speaking from experience, it's like life-changing. When this symbol shows up in your life, it's no coincidence. You're blessed. And, yeah, it's not an easy energy. You'll die, you'll die multiple deaths, ego deaths. But every time you die, you rise up stronger, better, healthier, wealthier more spiritually attuned, more connected to the source, the higher power, which leads to integrated shadow. That's exactly what is up here. That's why you both are like catalysts for each other, you know, the mirror here. You reflect what needs to be worked on. Every time there is interaction, there is reflection. It, it leads to deep reflection. No one can escape from it. You, I think you understood that and you stopped fighting. But both of you essentially realized what's what. So you, you could have, especially with the 5-5, five five, you could have had multiple, you know, like on-off, on-off kind of connection with this person. But they definitely want to tell you all about it. They want to tell you about the love, the deep, love that they feel for you yeah they want to bring justice here they want to bring truth again that you know that uh, energy of karma is strong here it's like understanding the karmic imbalance it causes when you deny what's from god and when you try to play god it's one thing to understand that a uh, human is capable of ascending to the godhood level but it's a very different thing you know when okay so it's about like ascending yes yeah, so it's about having a sense of uh, power and control over your own life right but when you talk about god it is the source energy it is this unifying force and also it is this overlooking force you know it is the force that has created all the cosmic laws so it is actually meta in essence so even when you are in your godhood status you're not god okay you're not yeah 
So I'm hearing that song, Stop Trying to Be God by Travis Scott. <laughs> I love that song. Okay, so let's see. Queen of Coins underneath <clears throat> Temperance. This is the energy that I was picking up here. This is what they are doing, confirmation. This is their action. They're patient. They're not trying to have that false sense of control. They are waiting for the universe to show them the way to tell them when it's time to tell them that now it's time to go towards you. And yeah, they have to come in with this. And this, this is a similar energy that showed up in, in group two. Come in with the solid offer. And this is the snake who is enlightened. It's, it's the snake of knowledge. It's the snake who is who is like transcended the shadow, integrated the shadow. This is like this person is achieving a level of individuation, you know. And again, the red thread here, you know. You can also expect apology. Moon cycles are very important here. And I'm seeing six moons here, so yeah, six months to six weeks are important from whenever you're watching this. Maybe they tried to reach out six months ago. And this is also the energy of, I don't know, Scorpio. I'm getting Scorpio for some reason. And yeah, we do have Scorpio energy here as well. But also the Fire Queen and the Water King. It's very spiritual. This connection is very spiritual. That, that is why I was guided to do the, this reading. It's like, yeah, I don't really do these readings on my channel. But I think I should. I will be. But yeah, let's get some tea leaf now. Wow. Mind blowing. I'm going to cut the tea leaf deck in four piles and get a card each. Okay, show me. November, what did I tell you? Scorpio season. Yeah. Maybe this person will reach out in the month of November. What else? Right now, the urge is strong. That is what I'm getting. So whenever you're watching this, maybe that is why you're watching this reading. Yeah, my God. You guys see me shuffle, don't you? Like, you see me shuffle, right? Look at this. This card showed up in group two. Obstacles to overcome. And maybe something is happening in November when they feel like, yeah, I, I can make that move now. I can, like, actually reach out and try to talk. Or maybe, I don't know send someone to talk to you to again check the waters see what's up something like that okay here but this is more so spiritual check-in it's not like some person no yeah that's what they're saying it's like perhaps you're dreaming of them yeah the 5d connection is coming alive again after a season of hibernation Oh, okay. Show me. Mm, so many cards. Dark woman. Yeah, this person could be a dark woman or you could be dealing with someone. Or you are this dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. February. Dog. Protection from powerful friend. Okay, so I just mentioned a friend here. So maybe, you know, this person... Yeah, whoever is checking the waters is perhaps a mutual friend. Something of that nature. It could be very much possible. Yes, you, you could have a mutual friend who wants to act as a pigeon <laughs> but like I don't know it, the energy feels good it's like good yeah it's not nefarious or like obstacle creating kind of it's like yeah just to see what's going on 
but I feel like this is more so you and uh, they also think of you as a friend. Yeah, they cherish the friendship element of your connection, regardless of all the passion and the sensual stuff that came up in group two. There is that too, for sure, even here it's here. And that is where you need to kind of like balance that, you know, all that fire. Yeah, to like find that beautiful harmony, that flow, to keep taking it higher and higher, you know. Yeah. This person is definitely not letting you go. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Show me. Something, I'm also, because it's November and then February, so that's like just four months. So maybe they're planning something. Yeah, because this is showing up in the intention. They're planning something in the month of Feb. Okay. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding say some aspect of your life. And I was about to say same aspect of your life. Arrow. And it's giving me eight of wands energy. And I'm seeing eight again. And I saw eight, eight, eight. And I also saw five, five, five. So <laughs> divine alignment is definitely at play here. But uh, again, they look up to you and they feel like you've got something figured out. And uh, they are inspired by it. They are inspired and they just want to reconnect, reunite. They just want to be in your vicinity they want to travel to you they want to talk to you they want to make things happen they want to tell you how much they love you they want to tell you everything that they held back on that is the energy that i'm picking up on and also they they want to be a partner here that energy of claiming you and uh, like as if you're a property all of that is gone has dissolved thanks to multiple ego deaths okay and finally here Let's see. Yeah, they have, they have, they have, they have uh, <laughs> this person, I'm telling you. Look at that. Good news. Good news. Good news. They have a lot to share with you. They have a lot to say to you. They have a lot to talk, talk, talk. Just talk your ears off. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting. They have so much to... It's almost like I'm getting this energy of bursting. Yeah, bursting open. Yeah, like that flower. This is closed, right? And what did I tell you? And she's sitting on the lotus, kind of like that blue lotus. Yo, spooky, 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 spooky. But they're gonna catch you. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, why am I sitting here? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So action is they have something great to tell you. Okay. And they cannot wait to talk to you again. And if you're talking, then they just want it to keep happening and never stop. They don't want to lose you. They want. They don't want you to be the one who got away. Yeah. I also want to get you a message from Goddess Aseth, Goddess Isis. A message for Group Three. Anything and everything that will help them deal with this connection. One. All right, we're ready. Mm. Flower of life. Oh my God, this is so spooky. Flower, 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 flower of life. And group two was a flower, I guess. You guys, definite progressed energy. And they got the key of life and you got the flower of life. It's so crazy though. It's very crazy. Like I... I am in awe. Okay, I am in awe. It says divine creativity and manifestation. So where is the book? But it's so crazy that they got the flower of a uh, key of life and you got the flower of life and you both have different kind of flowers. But yeah, crazy. This is also like bl lotus blooming and I think it's blue lotus. Yeah, because Egyptian, but it, it's also giving pink. And she's sitting on the pink lotus here. And this is Lakshmi, I believe. Or Saraswati. I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't have the book around. But yeah. Um, I think this is Saraswati. I think so. Yeah, because alchemy. Goddess of knowledge. Sagittarius, yeah. Saraswati, most likely. 
but I'm also getting Lakshmi. So again, your this person feels like their success lies with you. Nothing is worth anything if you are not in their life. It's that deep. Okay, so mm -mm, flower of life. I'm kind of excited all over the place. So this is their energy. But yeah, let's see. You are entering a fertile period of your life. Absolutely. That's why Lakshmi coming. Uh, uh, focus on your innate creativity and how potent this is becoming and watch it rapidly grow. You are guided to thank. <sighs> think of yourself. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to thank yourself too for how far you have come because you have done immense work here. Uh, you're guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest. You did that. And this is just by reflecting that you somehow help this person too. And also this is like in the 5D, you've, you've been helping each other. Allow them to do so. So don't resist change. Instead, flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. We did see 555. So it's all about harmonious change. It's all about that opening of the flower. You have the flower of life and key of life too. Your soul is hungering for creativity and manifestation of the beauty in your inner child. And that's the energy that I got in the start of your reading. Like it's like you, you bring joy and this liveliness to each other's inner child, you know, you, you feel alive in each other's presence. That's the energy here. Much of your spiritual energy is directed into creative process and your creative powers are growing fast now. As you are gaining more potency in your creative flow, it is important that you use this growing ability wisely. Yeah, be wise. I think you are. Come a long way, right? You have. Become aware of how easy and quick your thoughts and feelings are manifesting into conversations, situations, and responses from the universe. Notice how quickly your prayers are confirmed through signs and dreams, which is taking me to, to the temperance card again. Because it's like, in a way, essentially... The temperance is somewhat of a higher octave of the magician energy because uh, it's an alchemist, right? And you're basically working directly with source. Finding your best temperament, that sort of energy. Notice how quickly your prayers are confirmed through signs and dreams. Dreams, yeah, intuitions and opportunities opening up for you. You are becoming more and more swiftly that which you choose to think, feel, speak, and believe. Heightened manifestation. So, yeah. I'm also being guided to get you a card from the Star Seed Oracle, which is just for you. Just for you, group three. Your reading is inspiring, awe inspiring. Okay. You're ready. Earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, study, higher learning. Yeah, again, Sagittarius, higher learning, earth school. Let's see what is the message for that. But I think you both have been somewhat of like this earth school for each other's soul, you know, and your soul is definitely connected high up there. Just like when you dive in here, it's like you, you have that soul amnesia. So, but again, the cord, yeah, the cord, the cord connects. And I think now you're remembering. You both are honoring the remembrance. I hope it makes sense. Regardless of the path that you choose, I just feel like, especially you, my viewer, this connection has served a higher purpose. Never deny that. And I think you already have a level of unconditional love for this person. Regardless of the nature of this connection or what you dealt with. It says, uh, this means that you're being called to embark on a new area of study and growth. And I believe perhaps you're supposed to like, you know, 
um, work together on a project or something, or maybe your dharmic path is connected. And if not, it's just like um, this connection acts as an ignition and it, it gives you that much needed fuel to keep going at it. And uh, again, I get very dharmic energy here. So this could be through structured learning, such as a uh, uni school or training course, you know, picking up new skills and all of that. Yeah. So if you're having difficulties in a relationship, you're being reminded that 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 these are opportunities for soul growth. Yeah. And it's kind of OK. And I haven't said it, but of course, I'm going to say it now. So this is definitely feels counterpartish kind of connection. And in a counterpart connection, that is the case. When uh, you're in separation, that's when most of the soul growth happens and all that, you know, shift occurs and uh, the shift in your consciousness and expansion after expansion, uh, ego death after ego death, all of that happens mostly in separation, right? So it serves, it serves that higher purpose. And initially, because of soul amnesia, of course, we take it personally. Of course, we get traumatized. Of course, we suffer. Right? And we we have a different way of reacting all, at all times. But essentially, I think you are getting to that point where you're understanding. You've already understood that. And I think your person is realizing all of that. And it's eye-opening. So that anger that they felt earlier all that you know firepower they, they are able to transmute it and understand the bigger picture so after all relationships are known as the number one way that we grow as souls while we are here on earth yeah and i think that is why i'm being asked to do more relationship focused readings and i'll be doing that i'll honor that why not because why not so that's all i see group three amazing reading loved your reading loved it loved it and the sings was crazy crazy sings that's all i see i hope this helps i'll see you in the next one take care